What is up guys, my name is Brandon and this is DIY Blogger. In this video I'm going to be doing part 2 of my Nintendo Switch Raspberry Pi series and in this episode I'm going to be working on the battery circuit as well as connecting the screen to the Pi and testing that out. Now this video was going to be mostly about the controller that I'm going to be connecting to my console but the controller that I bought it has come and I've looked at it and it probably isn't going to work so I'm gonna to have to think of something else on how to make it connect to the console uh, but until then this video is just going to be on the screen and the battery alright so my screen just came in yesterday so I'm going to open this up we got this little packet for how to set it up just gonna throw that to the side we have the circuit board for the screen in a anti-static bag as well as a power cable always nice to have these and a cord to connect the uh, buttons to the actual circuit board and then underneath there we've got the screen itself packed in some protected coating All right, here we have the screen itself. Looks really nice, actually much better than my old screen. I'm pretty sure, wow, this is at least twice as thin as my old screen. So my old screen was, I believe, 860 by 480 resolution, and this one is 720p. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's much thinner than my old screen which is always great and it looks really nice this did come from China it took about two weeks I think to come it was supposed to come on March 1st and it's February February 16th so that's really good all right so I'm going to get this box out of the way and we will take off the actually I'm gonna leave that on for now we're going to open up the circuit board here. Whoops. All right, so here we have the circuit board as well as the control buttons. We've got an HDMI, DVI, and audio port as well as power. And here's the port for the screen to plug into. And then the buttons just control uh, the menu, power, uh, source, and you know stuff like that. So we've got all the stuff we need to get the screen up and running. So this is the cable for the screen. It's a 50 pin. And I'm just going to take this tape off. and you do need to be really careful with this cable I already ripped one of my cables for one of my screens so definitely be careful with that alright so now we can plug in the screen open up this little piece here just gotta open that up and then Now we can plug in the control buttons. Kind of stiff actually. There we go. And then plug them into here. Now we can grab our Raspberry Pi and plug these in. So I have this 6,000 milliamp hour battery that's uh, 12 volts. I'm just gonna use that to power the screen and I'm going to just use micro USB as normal to power the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna use this cord for now to power the, um, the circuit board for the screen just for testing. Alright, so now we need to get some power to the Raspberry Pi 
And to do that, I'm just going to use this battery micro USB cable and the Adafruit 1000C. I'm just going to plug in the battery to the 1000C and it'll power on. And then plug in the USB to the Pi. And now everything is turned on. And now the last thing that we need is a HDMI cord, which I have right here. So we're just going to plug that in. There. All right, so now we'll turn on the screen and hope for the best. All right, screen did turn on. And it says no signal. Hmm. That is strange. Let's try source. AV1, no signal. AV2, same. VGA, no. And HDMI, still no signal. It's very strange. The Raspberry Pi is working because the green light is flashing. very odd all right so the screen is not connecting to the Raspberry Pi so I'm gonna research a little bit figure out what's going wrong and see if I can fix the problem all right so to fix the problem just put your Raspberry Pi SD card into your computer and right click the config.txt file and open with notepad plus plus or any other document editor and once that's opened, you can find the line that says uncomment if HDMI display is not detected and uncomment the HDMI force hot plug 2 section of that line and save it and you're good to go. Alright, let's power everything on. Raspberry Pi, is, Raspberry Pi is powered on. Turning on the screen now. Yes, all right guys, so that worked. We are getting a signal, RetroPie is booting up, and this is really good. So now that we know that the screen is working, I need to do something about this battery situation. Right now I have one battery, this one, powering the screen, and another battery, this one, powering the Raspberry Pi. And I need to fix that so that one battery can power both items. So to fix that, I think I'm probably just going to have to... Uh, let me turn this off real quick. I think I'm just going to have to solder wires directly from the DC power plug to the power boost. So I'm going to try to do that and see if that works. Alright, so... This is the DC ports, and this wire here is the positive, and this one is negative. So make sure you remember that if you are trying to do this as well. So now I'm going to heat up my soldering iron, and I will solder on some wires, and we can see if it works or if it doesn't work. Alright, so I have this battery here. And I'm just going to solder this to the screen because this is a 3.7 volt and I need to see if the screen will run on 3.7 volts because that's what I need to power the Power Boost 1000C. So let's give this a go. All right, so the battery is soldered now, as you can see there, and now I'm going to test to see if the screen works. The screen turns on, also good. And now I'm going to turn on my Raspberry Pi, and again test the output, or the input I should say just to be sure. All 
Rex. There you have it. RetroPie is booting up and this screen is running at 3.7 volts. So now all I have to do is solder more wires from the uh, port here to the PowerBoost 1000C. Alright, so on the PowerBoost C here, the two pins right here are where I'm going to solder the battery to and the one on the right is the negative and the one on the left is positive. So I have my wires here and I'm just going to solder these to here and to the um, 1000 C. So let me get this wire soldered. So I have soldered the wires to this board and now I just have to solder them to the 1000 C. As you can see, the power boost is turning on. So now we have a battery that powers both the screen and the Raspberry Pi, although we might need to add more batteries later since this isn't a whole lot of juice. Uh, it's going to drain pretty quickly, so yeah. Alright guys, so the last thing we need to do is wire up a switch so we can turn on and off the battery whenever we, we want to, so I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so I have a little switch here, and that's what I'm going to use to turn on and off the battery. So I'm just going to wire that up. The brown here is negative and the green is positive. So I'm just going to wire that to the power boost ports. So as you can see, the switch works now. I just soldered the brown wire to ground and the green one to five volts. And it works like a charm, but it doesn't turn off the screen. So I'm going to see if just taking out this piece here does anything. So let's see. No, it does not. So it looks like we're also going to have to solder wires from the switch to the screen as well, or the screen circuit board. Alright guys, so I have finished soldering the Adafruit 1000C, so here's the pins that I used to solder to that. And here are the pins from the other circuit board for the screen. We've got the, the, um, the switch and the battery. So everything is wired up and now I'm just going to hot glue everything in place. Now it is time to test it out one last time just to make sure it works. Alright guys, we are on the floor because my battery actually ran out of battery. So I had to plug in the power boost so it is charging right now and we are going to now test out just to make sure that the screen works. So I'm going to plug in my Raspberry Pi to the uh, circuit board and I'm going to plug in power to my Raspberry Pi. Just like that. And, it, and the switch is turned off so it's not supplying power to the Raspberry Pi right now. So that is good. And now we're going to plug in the screen. All right, the screen is plugged in. Now we're going to flip the switch. 
Power Boost is on, Raspberry Pi is on, screen on, and it is showing signal. Awesome. So now we can control the screen and the Raspberry Pi with one battery and one switch. That's all I have for this video guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like. That would really help me out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe so you're notified of when I upload more videos. That's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.